Total War, the best strategy franchise on PC to date. With three kingdoms up and coming, it's gonna be- Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Welcome guys to the video where I get slightly angry at Creative Assembly that's never been done before on YouTube. Well, everyone knows that I love the Total War franchise, and with Three Kingdoms coming up, I can't wait for you guys to see some of the stuff that they've got with that. But there's something that I thought I would address meanwhile. Now I've seen this round before, and I think when I actually loaded up I realised I had played this before, but I completely forgot that it was existed. So I went back and I downloaded this free to play game called Total War Battles Kingdom. Now the Steam page says a cross platform bite sized Total War, easy to pick up, quick fire strategy gaming sessions where you can expand your realm and fight battles no matter which device you choose. And those reviews are mostly negative, which is... Not great. I mean, all reviews together are mixed, but that's that's still not great. And this video is going to be me going into why I think this game is horrific and why it is the worst Total War game full stop. This is nothing against the Total War franchise as a whole, because as you'll find out, this isn't really a Total War game. It is in name, but definitely not in nature. As you can see, it is obviously a phone port, something that was made for mobile, and they're like, oh, let's just take it over to PC, maybe we can get the PC players in as well. This whole cross-platform thing seems to be the new thing these days, so maybe if we get a mobile and PC together, we might be able to create this amazing mush of gaming prowess where people can battle each other and they can add so much money. <coughs> <coughs> but being cross-platform completely limited the game, and this is why it isn't really a Total War game. I mean, I would say the best thing about this game is you get, you get to choose your face of your portrait, which, you know, one of the options is you can pick well-fed, which for the kids out there is a PG way of saying you're fat. I mean, that's quite funny. And also, the, the sly face does look a little bit like she's had a stroke, but I think we'll just get past that. But what about the game itself? Well, as you can see, it's a very tile-based game. Instead of like Total War, where it's the whole world, or at least one part of the world, this feels so much more enclosed and limited. And with this, it makes it completely different, the gameplay style. I had to put a dam in a place, and I actually had to physically put it in, and you can see that there's a way to speed up the building of things with coins. And we'll get onto that later, because that was the first sign that this was not going to be a Total War game that I thought it would be, or at least anything that's worth with that Total War name. Going into battles, as we know, Total War is famous for these battles, but they have no skill or thought put into them. Unit attacks the unit in front of them. Yes, you can sort of attack to the unit slightly to the side, but that takes some weird button presses and a lot of the time you end up not needing to anyway because the battles are so easy. Archers can only fire on a cooldown, which is an extremely weird way of doing it. It makes sense if you make one unit have a cooldown once it's fired so you don't spam, which once again does not fit in the Total War aesthetic at all, but it sort of makes sense for this sort of crossover mobile sort of thing. But it's not even the same archer unit. For example, if I fire with one archer unit, I have to wait for the cooldown to finish before I can fire with a completely different archer unit. So you can only fire one archer unit at a time. There's no way of doing volleys with multiple units because once you click fire with one unit, you have to wait for the cooldown before that unit or another unit can fire. It feels like a really weirdly limited three-tile chess game, which is completely strange for the something with the total war name. The maps are just corridors painted to look like trees and forests and hills and things like that, but that's not what makes the Total Franchise have its name. The Total War franchise is known for a massive immersive overhead map, controlling diplomacy, large-scale provinces and armies, and then going down into closer encounters of skilled tactical gameplay, where strategy and experience will mostly always outweigh just sheer numbers. But this takes absolutely nothing. It's always a head-on charge. There's no such thing as flanking in this game. And even when there is, it's from one tile away, and it's very limited to how you can do it. Yes, there are a few skills that you can put on it, but why are those things that you have to unlock in such a complicated way, why aren't they just already there? And I don't even know why I'm trying to argue against this game. The game itself shouldn't exist under the Total War name. Now, I'll get onto later what I think about it as a game itself and why that's not really the problem, because I know mobile games are like this, and I know if you guys like mobile games, this is absolutely fine, just, you know, playing it when you've got some free time. That's fine. My problem is the Total War name. On it. But then there was confirmation of this definitely being a mobile port and, and what a mess this made with the Total War name. 
and it seemed like it was just completely there for a cash grab. You can see when this menu popped up how I felt. I grew transactions! <laughs> no, don't creative assembly, what are you doing? You can't go down this way. You can't you can't do this to me. Next thing we'll know, Tailworlds will be doing the same thing to Banlord. Buy 60 coins so you can shout who goes there to a passing manhunter. I mean look at this. Forty pounds for about six thousand gold. Now that's probably about fifty or sixty dollars, and that's a full price total war game upon release. What's the point of paying forty pounds for completely virtual stuff that you don't actually get? Well, you might as well spend that sixty pounds on a game. You might think, yeah, you, know, you don't have to use these microtransactions. You do, though. The beginning of the game is so slow. It's it's extremely slow, and it almost forces you to use microtransactions because of how bad it is. I was listening to a podcast by Nerd Cubes, as you always do. Everyone should listen to the Nerd Cube podcast. It's amazing. You have to support my Patreon. But one time, anyway, why am I promoting him? He was talking about, I think it was WWE 2K18 where they made a progression system that was so grindy even though they didn't have microtransactions in the game people were asking for them because the game was so grindy that you need microtransactions to actually play the game with any sort of fun or for any sort of amount of time that will keep you there and i feel like this is a similar thing but they've actually put the microtransactions in it's so slow it takes so long to do absolutely anything and might i ask when i say absolutely anything basically absolutely nothing that has no effect on the game itself in a big way yeah you can build things here and there but the battles are tiny you're probably always going to win anyway because you've always got better troops than the enemy unless of course you're playing against a stupidly hard one later on i've not got to that point but i'm assuming this isn't really going to be the hardest game i mean after all it is a mobile game this would be an absolute horrible mess and shit upon the further franchise if it was another developer, if CA said, hey, you mobile developer, make this game and slap the Total War name on it. You do that, we get a bit of the profit, but we don't have to do anything. But look at who made this goddamn thing. CA developed the games themselves. They didn't even get anyone else in. Maybe they got a few other people's in, but they've slapped their developer tag on it, which means that they did it themselves. And Sega, who, uh, if you don't know, published the mainline Total War games, published it as well. This was a collaborative work that they've tried to push into the Total War franchise as a whole, not just a complete side thing that was made by a different company and maybe has a few things like the Total War name on it, but they've tried to actually completely make this a Total War game by developing it themselves, but putting it on a mobile port. So not only is this horrific game that is so slow and the only way to get any enjoyment out of it is paying virtual gold, but they took the time out of their own company to do it as well. And this game, I'm fine with mobile games. Mobile games are bad. That's just a given. Most mobile games are bad, okay? It's microtransactions that the problem. But I adore the Toads of War franchise. It's my favorite strategy franchise in every single mainline game. While some granted have more issues than others, I'll still pick them up because I love them, and it just frustrates me to see this name taken advantage of by no one but the developers themselves. And that kind of makes me sad that they decided themselves that this was a good idea. But, hey, Resonant, maybe they wanted to get some mobile players into the Total War games, and this was the easiest and simplest way of doing it. Look at this game! This is not a Total War game! There is nothing in this that is like Total War, okay? There's no similarities, except from one thing, it's got the Total War name. That's like selling Burger King fries, but putting them in McDonald's fries casing. It looks amazing, it's got the McDonald's name on it, and everyone's like, oh, McDonald's fries are the best fries. Oh, I'll pick some of these up. And they get into it, and they taste the completely unsalted, completely disgusting, mushy Burger King fries. The Burger King fries are still the same, it's just got the McDonald's name on it. It's literally clickbaiting you into bloody buying this game. But even so, guess what? The point of trying to get mobile players into the Total War franchise is a very good point if it wasn't for this. The fact that Rome Total War, arguably the best Total War ever made, is on mobile. You can literally buy it on mobile. Yeah, granted, it's about six or seven pounds, maybe a little bit more expensive sometimes, but that's nothing. And compared to the point of playing this game, the only way to really get any enjoyment out of it is to buy microtransactions anyway, which you'll be spending tens and tens of pounds more on it anyway. You might as well just buy Rome Total War on mobile. And that's the full version. It's not a dumbed down version of Rome Total War. It's the actual game. So people that play mobile 
will be able to get the Total War experience on their iPads or on their iPhones, on their mobile devices without getting completely clickbaited and playing a game that's nothing like Total War. Mobile players picking this up will get completely the wrong idea of the franchise and I don't doubt that anyone seeing this with a Total War name plastered on it will probably never touch the franchise after it. They'll say, oh, Total War's that terrible microtransaction filled mobile game franchise. When it's not, and we all know it's not, but having a game with the Total War name on it that is like this is going to have some terrible effects on the game. My problem isn't the game though, and this might come as a shock to you. It's not even the microtransactions. Yeah, they're bad, and I think they're a problem, but it doesn't really affect me. I will never buy microtransactions in my life. Even PC games with microtransactions, I've never bought them in my life. And mobile gaming has always and will be not as good as PC gaming or even console gaming. That's just how it is. And yeah, people can get enjoyment out of it. For me personally, that's not how it is. And that's why, at the end of it, I don't actually find it a problem that the game isn't a good game or that the microtransactions are in there. It's the fact that it's got the Total War name on it and that people are going to think that this is a Total War game like the others. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be a bit savvy, but mobile gamers might pick this up thinking this is a Total War game. And they'll play it and they think, this is not Total What's Total War? They probably won't know what it is. Some people might be able to get a bit of fun out of it while on the bus or waiting in an airport. And that's absolutely fine. If this was a game under a different name, it'd just be another mobile game. But the reason that it sort of made me quite angry and sort of got to me is the fact that it's called Total War and it's got that name on it. Creative Assembly, your games are amazing. I love every single one of them that's come out so far. Some more than others. They all have their own individual quirks and things that they keep adding. And Three Kingdoms, I think, is going to be absolutely incredible. But please try and keep it that way. I know this game came out quite some time ago and I'm probably a bit late to the party, but I still thought this video would be worth making. Don't go for the half-assed cash crap like other mobile devs. You're better than that. Stick to what you did with Rome Total War. Yes, it was another company that ported it over to mobile. But if it takes another company to port your mainline games over to mobile, isn't that way more worth it to you? I mean, you don't have to do any of the work, maybe a little bit here and there, and your name still keeps its prowess. It keeps its rule over the strategy gaming genre, because people will see it as a good game rather than a quick cash grab. That's pretty much it for this video on Total War Kingdoms Battles. This free to play game, I wouldn't recommend you can go and download it, but it is free after all. Maybe you can go and check it out yourself. Please don't buy any microtransactions. It's supporting this business model that if it carries on getting ported to PC, this this is a business model that can destroy PC gaming. We all absolutely slated Star's Battlefront for it. And because it's a smaller game in the Total War franchise, it's sort of gone a bit missed by a lot of people. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, but until then, I will see you in the next one.